Are you wondering how to take your live stream to the next level? Well, that's what we're talking about today. I'm Andrew with Code of Worship. Let's get into it. So during quarantine, a lot of churches weren't ready to go to an exclusively online experience for their ministry. So a lot of church leaders tried to use the most easily accessible solution they could find, which is a smartphone or a tablet, connected directly to social media. And that did kind of work with the built-in mic and the built-in camera, just left a lot to be desired and made the online experience feel very online. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about today ways to engage and make our online experience feel a little more like the in-person experience. Here's three ways where we can make our live stream more engaging. So if you have a tablet or an iPhone in the back of your room to do your live stream, there's a lot of issues with that. People are probably walking in front of it, making it hard to see. Also, it's probably zoomed way out, so it's difficult to really see what's happening on stage for the live stream audience. And also the audio may sound a little muffled because the microphone on that camera, on that phone, is in the back of the room. So a great way to get around of all these issues is to have a dedicated camera that can zoom in on the stage, that can get really close and make the imagery really easy for the person at home to see. And also connecting directly to your audio board will help give a direct sound that's very intelligible for the online audience. And lastly, you wanna send this video and audio feed to a hardware encoder. That's kind of a whole nother story. We'll have another video to chat about what that actually means. So let's take our live stream to the next level. Let's take that one camera we just discussed and move that into using two cameras for our live stream. We'll also connect those to a video switcher to let us choose between what shot we wanna show at any certain time. We could have our pastor in one shot. We could have a musician in another and go between both in a transition to make that very engaging. And then we'll take that house mix we're getting from our console and we're gonna give it a dedicated mix. We can custom tailor every channel to make it as loud or as soft as it needs to be to work perfectly for the online audience. This is the third step we can take to make our live stream more immersive. We can use multiple cameras now connected to our video switcher. These can be remote cameras, stationary cameras on stage, cameras on booms, and also remote control cameras that move from side to side to give lots of options for the visual that our live stream audience is seeing at home. We also take our audio to the next level from going from just a mix on our front of house console we now add a whole nother console to the mix just for live stream. So this person can focus on all the details necessary to make the live stream audience feel like they're hearing sound that's meant for them and not just an afterthought from the in-person experience. Instead of going full screen with our lyrics or sermon slides or announcement videos, we can now begin using lower thirds or transparencies or layering to incorporate lyrics and sermon points and all sorts of information on the screen without having to lose the connection with the person that's leading. So we can see the person leading as well as the content they're discussing to make our live stream audience feel very connected and very at home in the feed. This is just one piece of the puzzle in creating an immersive experience for your church family. If you wanna get more information on topics just like this, head over to our website. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.